check in on the weather because man, it is a beautiful, beautiful day. I mean, what's not to love? Yeah, look at what's that blue not sky to love right there? Yes, and you know what? If you love today, you're probably going to love tomorrow as well. We're looking at another really nice day for most of us as we get into a Wednesday. We are going to see the chance for some rain returning as we get into Thursday. Once we get beyond tomorrow, really, uh, things are going to be changing as we head towards that latter part of the week and into the weekend. So we get that rain chance to return on a Thursday. We'll see some additional rain potential into Friday and then some cooler conditions as we look forward to the weekends that so we're enjoying these 60s through the middle part of the work and school week. By the time we get to the weekend, we'll call it cooler to a little more seasonal, especially as we head towards St. Patrick's Day. We're still looking at highs mostly in the 50s on Saturday. I think Saturday, most of us squeak through mostly dry and then we'll bring back at least a chance to see a couple of showers into uh, Sunday and temperatures are going to be right around average into St. Patrick's Day, topping out in the mid 40s. So it is going to be some cooler conditions heading towards that weekend. Today, another big boost in those temperatures are running about 15 to 20 degrees above where we were this time yesterday afternoon. Yesterday felt fantastic, feels even better out there right now. Most of us up into the 60s, even mid 60s. We're sitting at 66 for the Cuyahoga County Airport. Uh, Youngstown, Ashtabula, Worcester and out towards Elyria. So everyone getting in on those very warm temperatures as we head towards those evening hours and more to enjoy in terms of those warm temperatures. We've had a good southwesterly breeze in place again today. If we look off to the west, southwest, we've got 60s, 70s stretching all the way up through the upper Midwest and the northern plains. So we're going to continue to see that warm air in place at least into tomorrow and a little bit on Thursday. And then we are going to be uh, seeing those temperatures drop. In the meantime, while we have this warm air in place, we still have this area of high pressure off to the south. We do have some cloud cover that's going to work on filtering through, but just clouds, no rain to speak of for right now. High pressure is keeping things quiet for the time being. That's going to change as we get into that second half of the week. That next system uh, really developing off to the west across the Rockies, far northern plains. We've got some more activity, so it's still going to take some time for that to actually move our way. In the meantime, rest of today is looking absolutely fantastic. Get out and enjoy this evening while you can. We've got the cloud cover that's going to be filtering in, but still going to be very warm and mild as we get into the overnight hours. We will have some of that cloud cover filtering through. We'll keep that southwesterly breeze at about 10 to 15 miles per hour through the overnight hours. Really, we're only going to drop back to about 50 degrees, maybe some upper 40s for our coldest locations. Average highs about mid 40s. So tonight heading into tomorrow morning, we're going to be starting off above our average highs for the day and we're going to continue to improve from there. A little bit of that cloud cover lingering in the morning and then we'll see more sunshine for the rest of the day. Temperatures upper 60s for some of some of us. One thing we're going to watch that southwesterly breeze is not as strong tomorrow, just about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So a chance we could get a little bit of a lake breeze to develop through the afternoon where we see that shift in the wind and the air coming off of the water. It's going to be much cooler if you're closer to the lake. Temperatures in the 60s for areas further inland though. As we run out that National Design Mart hour by hour forecast heading into Thursday, we'll have some additional cloud cover building in. Thursday's still going to be above average for us. 50s, some 60s, a little cooler along the lake shore. We'll see the chance for some showers arriving as we go through the day. Could even a few rumbles of thunder as we get into Thursday evening and Thursday night. And that's going to transition us to some cooler conditions as we head into the latter part of the week and towards the weekend. Union Home Mortgage 7 day out Look, we are in the 50s for Friday, but we are going to see that chance for rain continuing. Again, looking cooler heading towards that weekend. Seasonal as we get into St. Patrick's Day on Sunday. And then into next week, we're looking at Monday and Tuesday for temperatures potentially just in the 30s, guys. Ooh. Yep, just uh, marching down. Couldn't last forever. <laughs> no. Okay. All righty. Thanks, Jessica.